You may have noticed that after Joe Biden announced he was running for president, Senator Elizabeth Warren had some rather pointed words for him. And she stood with Americans, she said, while he was with the credit card companies. They've been clashing for years. Throwback Thursday to this scene in 2005, squaring off on Capitol Hill, Biden a senator, Warren a professor. And it's now about to get a lot more heated, as CNN's MJ Lee reports. Two presidential candidates poised to clash on the campaign trail over a decades-old feud. 2005, Joe Biden, a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, pushing a law to make it harder for Americans to file for bankruptcy. On the other side, law professor Elizabeth Warren fighting back from the witness chair. They have squeezed enough out of these families in interest and fees and payments that never paid Maybe we should talk about principal. usury rates then. Maybe that's what Senator, we should be talking about, not bankruptcy. I'll be the first. Invite me. No, I, I know you will, but let's call a spade a spade. It was hardly Warren's first time going after Biden. She had called him out in numerous op-eds and essays, like this article in the Harvard Women's Law Journal in 2002, writing, Biden supports legislation that will fall hardest on women and calling him a zealous advocate on behalf of one of his biggest contributors, the financial services industry. Now, some two decades later, Biden and Warren are facing off again, and their feud appears far from over. In an unusual move, Warren openly criticizing Biden last week on the same day he launched his campaign. At a time when the biggest financial institutions in this country were trying to put the squeeze on millions of hardworking families. Joe Biden is on the side of the credit card companies. The ideological differences are sharp. Warren, a leader of the progressive movement, with a campaign built around tackling corruption and taking on the rich and the powerful. We are going to fight for working people. We're going to build a grassroots movement. Biden casting himself as the experienced statesman, comfortably embracing bipartisanship and the candidate with the moral clarity to take on Trump. He will forever and fundamentally alter the character of this nation, who we are, and I cannot stand by and watch that happen. Come the summer, the two could face off again on a debate stage, where Warren may be more pointed than she was at this CNN town hall. I got in that fight, and I fought it for 10 years. And by the end of that fight, I fully understood that every single Republican stood there for the banks and half of the Democrats did. And Biden may be less willing to offer up any compliments as he did in this moment in 2005. Senator, if you're not going to fix that problem, you can't take away the last shred of protection for I these got families. It. Okay. Uh, you're very good, Professor. Warren is back in Iowa tomorrow for a two-day swing. Uh, both Warren and Bernie Sanders have taken these early jabs at Joe Biden on policy issues. So we'll see if she continues doing that over the weekend when she's back out on the trail. Jake. MJ Lee, thank you so much.